Greetings to all of you on this week before Christmas. We've had a little uh, snowfall to whet our appetites for hopefully what will be a white Christmas this weekend. Hope you're doing well. A couple of things I would love to put on your radar uh, as we look at this week ahead. The first is uh, a reminder about our Christmas Eve service that's happening at 5 p.m. Uh, on Christmas Eve. Uh, so that would be, let's see, that'd be this Friday uh, at five o'clock. Uh, we'd love to have um, each of you that would love to come and participate in that. There'll be plenty of music, uh, devotional thought offered up, um, and, our, and our candlelight service that we always end in collective singing of Silent Night. We'd love to uh, have each of you attend if you're in the area or that is a part of your um, family liturgy or rhythm. Uh, we'd love to see you um, this, this Friday. Um, we also want to let you know that for that service, we are encouraging you to please wear a mask for that service so that we can encourage um, as many as would like to attend um, that, that actually want to be there that could do that and, and feel safe in doing so in light of what the Omicron variant and its transmissiveness is doing. Um, so if you'd help um, extend love to our brothers and sisters in that, in that way, that would be wonderful. The second thing is, is next Sunday or this, or this upcoming Sunday uh, on the 26th, uh, we just want to put on your radar uh, what our service will be looking like and kind of give you some homework some preparation for worship homework. Uh, that's what it's gonna be, is we're gonna be singing a multitude of different Christmas carols. And one of the things I thought would be fun this year as we sort of prepare to usher in the new year is to look at what I'd like, I guess, affectionately call one-line sermons. Uh, and we're gonna give you uh, a chance to look at the different lyrics of the songs that we're gonna be singing and give you space to say, this is the line from the carol that sticks out to me uh, and give you space to talk about um, why that why that line has been meaningful to you, uh, whether it's been recently or as a child or in this last year, uh, and really just praying that God will use uh, his spirit to speak to you through some of these really famous Christmas carols that we sing, songs that we sing so frequently that we sometimes don't reflect on really the powerful theology and the words and statements that are being declared in them. And so in the link below, we will provide the lyrics of all the songs that we're going to be singing uh, starting uh, on this week so that you have a chance to review them uh, and maybe prepare a little bit and look over some of the lines of these Christmas carols that we'll be singing as a chance for us to collectively, um, to collectively speak and learn from one another about the powerful lines that are being declared uh, in these songs that we sing. Uh, and so if you... Um, show up and we sing and no one speaks, then it might be a really short service or it might just give a space for your pastor to speak way longer than he should. And so, but anyways, we wish you a Merry Christmas. If you're not able to be with us this week and you're traveling or, or you're sick, um, we just want to let you know how much we love you and hope that this is just a tremendous Christmas season as you share life with family and those that you care about and love deeply. Um, may God's peace be extended to you in this season. And as always, Christ be with you. You are loved. We'll see you on Friday and Sunday.